So the B is one of our latest devices with simplicity in mind, designed to give an entry level user the best first time experience. The journey for the B really began over a year ago. We did a lot of bench testing, a lot of experimentation. The body or stem design has kind of gone back and forth. Didn't quite feel Dynavap quality. It was relatively difficult to produce. Stem that is stainless steel. How are we going to make this? Figuring out what it would take to wind wire into a, a form. We called it Delta. Now we'd make things that looked a lot like a, a doorstop. Sometimes you got to start the project and then you hit a wall. So before the B, there was a concept Delta. Gather round, ladies and gentlemen of token age. For today, we have a story, the origin of the bee. It was a dark and stormy night, much like this one. Jason and George coming up with ideas. How are they doing that? Well, the usual. But what was this device? What was the idea? Where did it come from? What was the purpose? It was almost exactly a year ago just shy of a year where George and I kind of had this thought. I, I said to Jason, he's like, you know, well, what I think would be really good for us is uh, we should just have a session. We knew what the end goal was, a simple product, but we did not know what it was going to look like. Can we make a device out of, out of wire? Looking at like springs and stuff and seeing how, how airtight they could be and figuring out what it would take to, to wind wire into a, a form that is, you know, stem and, and, you know, can we get a tip integrated in that? Should they be separate and all these things, all these variables. It started with just some, uh, believe it or not, some welding wire that Jason had lying around and he just wrapped it around a piece of tube. Still the, the wire showing through, but this entire thing is welded along its length. It makes the product very, very stiff. I mean, I can't even bend it. So what we have is a, a wire wound metal tube, effectively. Three parts. One body will have the stainless steel CCD and then the captive cap that would fit over it, hence the Delta. It was some of the initial feedback, you know, we'd make things that looked a lot like a, a doorstop. And so we knew we had to, to change that. One of the things that we looked into doing was uh, actually using some additive manufacturing, but in a different sort of fashion than we've ever seen it done before. It's always been important for us to go after kind of novel approaches of manufacturing and and doing things that you know people go what the hell are you doing with that like and why anytime that i can get like a tooling rep or anybody else come in and say holy shit like you're doing that with that i love that so when we began work on the delta really actively it was probably somewhere in the neighborhood of october november you know we did some initial concepts on, on the manual lathe, winding things up and trying to prove it out that it could be done. So we did a lot of bench testing, a lot of experimentation. But in order to explore it, we had to build a new machine. This is not exactly a simplistic thing. And here we took this very capable machine of making traditional parts and we kind of gutted it and repurposed it for experimenting with Delta. You know, over the course of the following few months, we built a machine. We've done a little bit of work. We repurposed the A1 servo to be a wire feeder. Do I need to have laser goggles on or anything? You know, I can't sit here and take all the credit for, for all this. I mean, Drew, who had a huge, huge role in making this feasible. Drew's done a little bit of integration. All these cool things we were able to do. So here we have one of the later Delta designs, or Delta prototypes, where we started cleaning up a lot of that outside surface. You can see it's a lot cleaner, a lot less colorful, uh, a little bit nicer to look at, with a little bit of post machining done on the outer surfaces as well. So we had a lot of kind of like material science challenges and, and issues and repeatability and you know things things sometimes break and like they can't be like one-offs that take forever to make and, and all this stuff. We made better progress in January and February and then it, we were getting behind schedule and we kind of hit a wall. The main idea was to wind, weld, part off, finish, and spit them out. And you know, that's, that's a tall order. Sure, we got to the point where we could make a device that was wire wound and welded together, but the post finishing that needed to be done to make that a 
scalable product was just too much for the direction that we wanted to go. You know, a lot of the trouble that we ran into is like, you know, after welding, you know, the part gets stuck on it, you know, the metal shrinking as it's cooling. And then the product just kind of got shelved or postponed or paused for a few more weeks here and a few more weeks there. So we, we got about this far, maybe a little bit further, but not much further. And does it work? Yeah. Yeah, it works. You know, we certainly did do this where you just throw in a CCD. You can push it in from the outside between the coils and it worked just fine. But all of that was kind of pointless, you know, if, if it didn't resonate with the customers. Sometimes you got to start the project and then you hit a wall and then you restart and you hit another wall. It just can end up being a rather frustrating experience. How could we take the concept of the Delta, low cost, entry level, scalable, and move it into something that's more in line with Dynavat products. We're kind of hedging our bets on, you know, the customer wants an entry level product. You know, they want something cheap and like, you know, this is a novel way to produce it, but currently like we can only make it on one machine. Like even if we were completely successful and it was repeatable and, and whatnot, we only had one machine to make that on. And, you know, so that always kind of gave me pause for concern a little bit, but we learned a hell of a lot, hell of a lot in doing that.